You might have spotted we've got Danny O'Donoghue with us from, us, from the script. Good Can morning. I just say, also, very good studio discipline, because literally you were the one then who just said, better be quiet. Yeah, I just seen three, two, one, and I was like, you know, I've, oh. I had a habit of... Very uh, impressive. So, oh, that's what the floor manager's for. <laughs> 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 Trying to take your job, you know, you know. Well, you do it better than us. Um, <laughs> should we do the reading? Thing? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, go for so it. So Irish rock band The Script was on the road for 12 years until the pandemic brought them, along with the entire live music industry, to a grinding halt. So after many months in lockdown, uh, Danny, who's here, uh, says it feels like the world has pressed play again, preparing for a tour. Greatest Hits album is out now. We're going to have a look first and then we'll okay, chat. Is perfect. that all right? Yeah, roll VT. Go for it. Going back to the corner where I first saw you. Gonna camp in my sleeping bag. Feeling good? I'm feeling great, yeah. It's, it's, um, it's amazing to watch the VT and watch, you know, 12 years kind of go by in, a, in, in such a short amount of time. You haven't lost any enthusiasm for it, though, have you? I, not at all. I think something like facing COVID, um, the last time, even the picture behind you, was from our Sunsets and Full Moons tour. Um, we were on stage in Scotland, you know, 18,000 people singing Hall of Fame, and we had that ringing in our ears. And then next of all, um, this thing called COVID had us all getting into our vans, going straight home, and we spent the next 18 months, um, you know, locked up. With there, uh, with you know, with your with your loved one or um, or on your own, and it's it's been a crazy, crazy time. I think the first lockdown um, was a bit of a novelty for everybody, and then when the second lockdown hit, it, it really hit home. I think everybody's mental health really started to suffer then too. Um, but you know, there's there's of all the devastation that has happened, I feel like now is the time to start being positive about it. And instead of being talking about COVID all the time, I'm about Novid now. I'm about like just let's. You know, come out of here. Like I said, it feels like the world's somebody's pressed play on the world again, um, and we're coming back to a, a new norm. But uh, but normal. Have you yet been in front of an audience? Have you performed? I in have. Front of an We've audience? done four shows um, in the past three weeks. So I've done the Isle of Wight, um, seventy thousand people there, which was an incredible moment. The one thing that's really strange now is before lockdown, everybody was experiencing life through their screens. Um, and I looked out into the audience and there wasn't one person on their phone. I think everybody experienced life through their phone while they were sitting in their house. Were well, they still doing the filming out. thing, though? No. You, no. Really? It, it was, the weirdest part was you could see the whites of everybody's eyes and they were really happy to just be back out in the field again and be around people, which is hence why we, we released the, the, the greatest hits. We'd written enough material to release a seventh album. But I just felt like, what, what do I want to do when I come back out again? I just want to go somewhere with my friends and my family in a front room somewhere, maybe a pub, a bar, and just play these songs because, you know, some of the lyrics that we have now have kind of changed and they've, they've turned over. So we have a song called For the First Time and the lyrics are, you know, um, uh, there we were drinking old cheap bottles of wine, sit talking up all night, doing things we haven't for a while. We're smiling, but we're close to tears because even after all these years, we just now got the feeling that we're meeting for the first time. Now, that song could have been written two days ago, mm. or, but it wasn't. It was written 12 years ago. And like I said, I'm so excited about getting... You're not going to find another band who's more excited about doing the greatest hits than the script, you know? Because most people kind of cough their way through the fact that they're doing it. But I just can't think of anything better than going back to a festival or an arena and singing these songs, you Quite know? A few, a few of the music artists we've spoken to so far... Yeah. ...describing that first moment on stage yeah. when they see... the have said it really is, don't know quite what it's going to feel like until you stood there. And it can be a bit of an emotional roller coaster. You're really happy, there's a lot going on. Yeah, you're, is you're a bit stunned you? because there's a lot of people there, but to be honest, it's what, it's what I was rushing back out to do. You know, I think everybody's life came into very sharp focus. Um, a lot of people cut all of the, the crap that was in their life out and just focus on the things. Because what, it, what we've learned is the life is just too short. It's too short, so if you're coming back out, don't settle for anything unless it's everything. I was kind of where the song um, I Want It All, our brand new single, came from was, you know, a lot of people went through breakups. Um, I think if you weren't meant to be with the right person through lockdown, they broke up. But, you know, that breakup is a, is a step on the pathway to finding the right person. But also, like me and my girlfriend, we, we, we'd only moved in maybe two months before lockdown. That's tough. And we went right into the fire. But to be honest, it galvanised us and it made us better than ever. So... I just feel like, you know, we're, we're now everything's moving back out again. I just feel like friends, family, 
find what you love to do and then do it till you die because there's really not that much time. You Did know? you find your friendship circle kind of got smaller because you just kind of realised that the ones you really want to see? Yeah. 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 I don't know. If I'm being honest, you know, I, I, I struggled a little bit second time around. You know, I was drinking too much and I had, you know, a delivery and just eats on speed dial and... Well, you put on some weight, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I put on a lot of weight, actually. I put on uh, about... Uh, I'm trying to cover it over. No, I put on... Uh, I was up about 101 kg, and then I dropped down, like, through... Um, you doing martial arts? I do martial arts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been boxing for a few, a number of years, um, but then I started doing Mai Tai. Um, I've been doing it down the Nalsey Academy, actually, down Edgeware. And um, uh, it's been amazing, so I do it an hour a day, and just... It drops the weight, but for me... Um, it's kind of, I don't mean a male sport, there's men and female in the sport which are incredible. But for me as a man, I find it really empowering to go down and smash pads and just get all the anxiety out. And then to feel almost strong enough to say that I'm weak. It's, it's, it's a really strange thing because I felt like when the gym's closed, that's really when my, my mental health started to go down, you know. So you need to you be, be stage um, fit. Yeah, will you be incorporating any of the martial arts moves in your stage routine, you know, if you... Just for the manager, Ben was there to get us more money for uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the gigs. Now, um, to be honest, it's, it's exactly the same as doing rounds, you know. You've got, like, what, three-minute rounds, and then you're off for, like, 30 seconds, let's say, in boxing, whereas, or in, in Mai Tai, whereas it's the same with songs. Songs are three and a half minutes long, um, and then you, you kind of talk for 40 minutes or, or, or a minute in between. So it's kind of the same thing. It translates over very well. Kind of a good attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to see you this morning. Thank you for sorting everything out in yes, the studio. And it's good no worries at all. Yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. We're on the countdown now, just to, just okay. to inform you what's Where, going on. Am I on. reading this next part, am I? Yeah, script you can, album if you want. is called. What's it called? <laughs> oh, the album is called Tales from the Script. It is out right now. Um, and the single right, is called right, I Want stop, Now we've stop. We've got no time. Okay, we've got, we've got, keep got on. the countdown. countdown. That's all from us this morning. We'll be back tomorrow at 6. Uh, time now for our morning live.